My name is Jenny Fowler. I'm the Acting Chief of Interpretation for the Southern Campaign of the American Revolution Parks Group, which includes Cowpens National Battlefield, Kings Mountain National Military Park, the Overmountain Victory National Historic Trail, and 96 National Historic Site. Today, I would like to talk to you about two battles at 96. As the political movement of the American Revolution spreads across the colonies, protest gives way to combat. The first battle in the South is at 96, South Carolina, a fortified town protecting precious military supplies. From November 19th to 21st, 1775, thousands of backcountry colonists battle each other in a three-day siege, including the death of James Birmingham, the first patriot killed in the Southern colonies. The resulting truce is short-lived, and many backcountry leaders feeling that they are not required to obey the terms of the ceasefire. This large campaign in western South Carolina splits communities and families into military camps, divisions that devastate the backcountry through bloody civil war, and undermine any attempts to establish a peaceful control, either by the Americans or the British. This is not the only time this frontier town would find itself as a battleground. Almost six years later, in the summer of 1781, 96 is now a key British outpost for controlling western South Carolina. With massive additional fortifications and including the famous Earthen Star Fort and a garrison of over 500 Loyalist Provincials, Continental Army General Nathaniel Green is attempting to drive the British out of the interior of the South Carolina by capturing their isolated forts. On May 22, 1781, Green lays siege to the Star Fort and its Loyalist defenders for 28 days, the longest field siege of the American Revolution. Despite multiple creative strategies, including elevated towers, trench works, and tunneling, Green admits defeat and retreats from impending British reinforcements on June 18, 1781. The British, however, realized the foolishness of trying to maintain this isolated outpost for military support and order the fort destroyed and the town evacuated to the safety of Charleston. Despite Nathaniel Green retreating from the battlefield, Green now finds himself victoriously leading the Patriot Army in pursuit of the British to their coastal headquarters, capturing the abandoned outpost at 96. 